Hello students, welcome to my next lecture. In today's session, we will talk about understanding the challenges for operations manager. In my previous lecture, we have seen what is service, what are services, what is the service operations management and why each service operations management is important for us. That chapter name was introducing the service operations management. This is chapter number two, where we are going to talk about the various challenges faced by operations management. Now the chap chapter objectives are, what are the key strategic challenges faced by the service operations managers? What are the various tactical challenges faced by service operations managers? We will also learn what are the challenges for different type of services and different type of processes. Also, what are the challenges in working with other management functions such as production, supply chain, HR, finance, research and development, IT and so on. So we will start with the first part. What are the key strategic challenges faced by the service operations managers? The key strategic challenges faced by most of the service managers includes the managing strategically and tactically, then making operations a contributor to a strategic as well as an implementer then making the business case for service, also understanding the service concept. So one by one we will learn all the concepts. First we will start with managing tactically and strategically. For this you have to revise the case 1.3 that we have studied in the first chapter of Ahmed Jihad. So operations managers need to manage both tactically and strategically. Being tactical is about being focused on both short term day to day activities. Strategy is concerned with the long term and the operations wider contribution to the organization. You must have noticed in Ahmed Jihad case number 1.3 was bogged down with the day to day activities and seemed to have little time to deal with the future and with the implementation of medium and long term operational issues. These issues included how will its result need to change to compete with the operating and opening to new high quality results in Maldives, how it can reduce the cost to deal with the economic slowdown and as a sustainable tourist is becoming increasingly important what are the various changes will be operational need to make. So the problem for the operations manager is that the significant part of excitement of managing operations is its immediacy. By this mean, we mean the constant challenges to deal with the needs of the stream of the customers, managing the staff and making operational decisions to ensure the delivery of appropriate quality of service at an operational cost and appropriate cost. The danger of this immediacy is it can lead to a short term focus. My service operations managers concentrated their time and efforts on managing day to day operations. The following reasons are there. The pressure on the operation to deliver its day to day services may leave little time for medium term operational improvement activities and long term strategic planning. For example, it is difficult for a headquarter to put time into dealing with the solving major underlying problems such as poor facilities, inadequate funding, high level of absenteeism, etc. When they are heavily introduced to trying for the uh, find part time staff to cover the sudden absences, recruiting new staff to vacant post and processing the many forms and requests that land on the desk each day and also dealing with a constant stream of student behavioral problems. Operational managers because of the nature of the job of often their background tend to feel more comfortable with the ambiguous and rational nature of many short term tactical decisions. The more intuition process required for strategic thinking are quite different and excuses found to put them to another side. The head teacher is said to have and promoted through the professional 
and they may get a buzz and feel more comfortable in dealing with the students and the curriculum they may be less inclined to put their time in less exciting and less pressing tasks of data collection data analysis report writing and high level debate and discussion with the various parties to try to resolve underlying and longer issues as a result development of strategic aspect of operation manager are frequently neglected and disappropriated amount of time is spent on managing various day to day activities and tasks in the operations in some of the organizations the problem is built by not giving some senior operation managers a seat to uh, the boardroom table uh, that is also equivalent given they are responsible for most of the organizational asset people cost and revenues this would seem very short sighted good operation managers are those who can pay attention to and create time in their day to day activities both strategic issues and managing the day to day operations manager management and operations in order to create and sustain a successful organization now next we will talk about a case study so this case study is about southwest airlines so southwest airlines is a us organization that many budget airlines have copied in recent years there are a number of reasons for its continued success but first and foremost southwest delivers the concept of low cost dependable dependable and transportable integrity will the understand that the present generations was not to under airport to airport transport but rather door to door they also understand the competition issues in the form of buses and cars rather than because of the airlines in order to deliver deliver this proposition southwest airlines have focused on cost and dependability as the heart of the operational strategies they have found the key decision areas such as number 1 using the secondary airports like lower cost and less congestion delivery dependability number 2 using short haul sites and flights with no interconnections that is for inter interdependability number 3 use of one of the plane one type of the plane that is lower maintenance and crewing cost number 4 direct booking only that is low cost and greater visibility of demand and fifth is choice of routes with potential to grow the volume it is for cost and dependability also we can have another case study for cyber nurseries the very first webcam was said by a group of cambridge university student from the school of computer science they focused it on the faculty coffee machine so that members of the staff could see their desk computer a live picture of machines updated every few minutes this allowed them to check whether or not the coffee jug was empty before they went to use the machine web camps are now everywhere anyone with an internet connection can now see some breakthrough and bizarre sites including uh, in the conditions of 3880 meters on mount everest the view of the top of skyrun and the lake tahon also sight in the african bush view from the palazzo santerio in rome wedding at las vegas little white chapel the view from the trans siberian railways during its 5700 mile journey from moscow to uh, vladivostok even the content of the swedish family fridge one application has been the use of webcam in nurseries so that anxious parents can use their computer at work to who to look in for their children security is tight with the picture being encrypted and password required for access 
The pictures of parent receive and single frame updated every minute. But the quality is good enough for parents to check if the child is relaxed, happy and well cared for and to remind them what life is all about. While parents and grandparents are reveling in this evolution and innovation, others are queuing to condemn it. Some psychologists are concerned that it becomes on screen substituted on screen uh, substitute for you know involvement in the child's upbringing that simply assuages the guilt of the working members. That is also quite true. So other people worry about the feeling the current uh, panacea about the children's safety. However, at a time of child care is needing an injection of trust and with more and more working parents, cyber nurseries could be soon as the common places. Now we will talk about uh, managing or making the business case for service. So uh, before that we will talk about few things like uh, for this case studies. Operations uh, managers are involved in doing the part of their businesses. It is the operation and its staff that deliver the service, not the marketers and financial managers. Through a small organization, these rules may be undertaken by some other people. As such, operation managers must first of all understood that they are having some operational strategy. This may be a market dominance for a larger retailer or speedy provision of water and food for the aid agency for high level of child care with strong links into the community for a nursery. This then defines what the operation has to be good at like uh, how it is compete for competitive organi organizations. This might involve delivering the services at lower cost with dependability or providing a wide range of services as a, a pleasurable customer experiences for example this then defines the key decision areas for task for operations such as minimizing the cost of the implementing lean initiatives or focusing on speed of delivery and developing supply networks or continual improvement in quality and innovations for the new services. So now we will uh, talk about the managing the business for case of service. So making the service operations manager we will speak to us or tell us about what totality understood, how important service is. And at the end of the first chapter if you remember we have summarized why uh, good service and why good operations management mean making things better for the customers, better for the staff and better for the organization. Better for the organization may mean uh, retaining the customers, attracting new customers, entering to the new markets, increasing revenues and reducing cost, making the greater profit and simply meeting the budget targets. Yet when asked to make the case of demonstrate that the better service does indeed make the things better for the organization, they often fall back to belief and intuition. The nursery managers, we have just seen the cyber nurseries case study, will intuitionally know that spending more money on improving the facilities will bring more customers, thereby increasing revenues, but they may have difficulty uh, persuading their owner to invest with the some hard evidences. Making a business case to the financial director or equivalent in order to obtain the resources are required to provide a better operations and deliver, deliver better service requires a clear argumentation, a clear argument provide evidences of the relationship between the service and cost and revenues. Such knowledge will also enable the operations manager to understand the impact of decisions they make on both the service provided and the organizational success. 
understanding the service concept strategically it is important that there is a shared and defined view about the nature of the service that the organization provides the service concepts define what organization does what marketing have to sell that the operations have to deliver earlier in a product based operations there is usually straightforward the product can be seen and touched but the service is active is an activity and process it is easy for various people inside the organization uh, to have quite different views about what process is likewise there may be some differing views about what organization is selling and what customer is buying some parents um, uh, may be seen in the nursery case as simply babysitting services others will see as a critical educational experiences for their offspring articulating and communicating communicating the service concept is critical for clarifying the organization's product and its customers may be internal and external and for ensuring that it uh, can be and how it can be delivered now we will see what are the key strategic challenges faced by service operations managers tactical challenges we will understand now so the key tactical day to day challenges faced by most of the service managers may include understanding the customer perspective then managing multiple customers at a time then managing a single customer managing them in a real time coordinating different parts of the organizations at a time and encouraging improvement and innovations in the existing process we will start with the first understanding the customer perspective just look at this figure a key challenge and sometimes a key difficulty for many managers in the service operations is that they see things from the internal or organizational point of view or viewpoint often referred to as the inside out the operations perspective understands the service provided it focuses on the inputs that they have been managed including the customer often seeing them as input to be processed rather than a person and making sure that the processes are working well managers quite naturally spend their time worrying about the managing the resources and processes and managing capacity scheduling people and managing performances targets and financial goals however the customers will see at the same time things from a different perspective that is outside in so we have talked about inside out and here in this figure 2.1 inside out versus outside in are this concept is elaborated so the customer will see from a different or very different perspective that is outside in they are interested in the service received their experiences and the outcome such as how they feel the product they receive and how they benefit from the service customers of the service are less concerned with the management of resources processes and targets they want a good experience they want to have a good outcome and a benefit from the service the nursery staff may see their key activities at child development and education whereas the parents may see it as the expenses of babysitting services while they are at work these different views may cause some conflicts for example when the parent is held up at the work they may expect a babysitting service to wait for a while for them whereas a teacher will expect the parent to be on time and make alternative arrangement should be done let that meet managing the relationship with the customers and managing customer relationships and expectations and perception and delivering the customer experiences are the key challenges in front of the managing service operations now seeing things from a customer's point of view surprisingly unusual in service organizations we just look at this table number 2 where it illustrates these two perspective in three different services 
हिप रिस्प्लेसमेंट सर्जरी एजुकेशन एंड कंसल्टन्सी रिकॉग्नाइजिंग बोथ ऑफ दीज पर्स्पेक्टिव इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन मैनेजर नीड टू मैनेज देअर ऑपरेशन टू क्रिएट देअर सर्विसेस दे नीड टू मैनेज देअर सप्लायर्स पीपल फैसिलिटीज प्रोसेसेस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बट एट द सेम टाइम दे नीड टू रिकॉग्नाइज हाउ देअर एफर्ट्स क्रिएट वैल्यू फॉर द कस्टमर्स विच इन टर्न्स क्रिएट्स वैल्यू फॉर द ऑर्गनाइजेशन इन डीड सम ऑफ द पीपल अर्ग्यू दैट कस्टमर इज अल्टीमेट आर्बिटर ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑर्गनाइजेशन क्रिएट्स एंड डिलीवर्स वाइल वैल्यू इज डिलीवर्ड थ्रू द प्रोसेस एंड सर्विस इज लोकेटेड इन द कस्टमर्स एक्सपीरियंस एंड आउटकम्स फॉर द कस्टमर we may found organizations today talk about delivering a customer focus or becoming customer oriented a better understanding of the outside in perspective is a good way to start this process cathay pacific is one of the organization that takes an outside in perspective focusing the customer experiences and emotions they should feel managing multiple customers at a time many service organizations do serve a homogeneous group of customers they often serve in different ways different type of customers the nursery is customers include both the child for whom it is providing a educational and social experiences and also for parents for him it is providing a parental substitution or parental substitute service they are are other customers sometimes termed as stakeholders such as educational authorities and health and safety officials for whom the nursery provides the information related services there are also internal customers the staff whose welfare and training need for example need for is to be provided for them understanding who are the uh, various customers understanding the needs and expectations developing relationship with them and managing various customers are the key task of service and operations managers managing the customers the nature of the service means that the operations process in the customers experience in a product based organization these two are usually distinct a car manufacturer's processes for car or building a car quite separate from their customers per experiences of buying and then delivering the car this is the not case in the service organizations in universities for example the process of education is inseparable from the educational experiences likewise the child care and health care uh, child care services are inseparable the child care and the child care experiences are inseparable this provides a several particular challenges for the service operations managers firstly customers are an input to some others operational processes and they take some part active or passive in the process as a consequence service operation managers not only have to manage their usual inputs and processes they have to manage the customer as well in universities we do, do not only have the deliver for the material for a lecture for example we also need to manage the students learning experience by trying to enthuse them and create a passion for the subject and learning secondly the customer mood the attitude and attention and actions may affect not only their own experience but that to other experience and customers thereby having a direct bearing on the quality of the other people's experiences the behavior of students in a lecture such as talking coming late or talking on a phone or the behavior of diners diners in the restaurants uh, such as talking loudly or uh, swearing or uh, throwing uh, bread rolls etc will impact the uh, Uh, having a imp- negative impact on the other customers and affect the quality of their experience thirdly the experiential uh, nature of the services provider particular problems for 
both uh, specified and indeed control some control centers for example use the script to ensure uh, conforms and clarity about the script loads on the flexibility development of repo and may be on the opportunities of cross selling the nursery needs clear guidance guidelines and the protocols about about how to deal with the particular issues but each situation may be different the staff will need to apply some degree of judgment this requires clarity about the service concept how to deal with and learn from the problems and how to uh, set up the appropriate measurement and control system to make sure that staff respond in the right way the presence of the customers also means that the operation is visible to the customer in the nursery the facilities and activities are visible not only uh, for the child but also for the parents when dropping off and picking up the child and during the day as they drop via web so the service enrollment sometimes referred as service scapes so service scapes need to be designed to create the right atmosphere for the service to fit with the service concept a high class restaurant for example could not have peeling wallpapers and dirty floors the nursery should smell uh, fresh and look clean with tidy colorful pictures around the room now we will talk about managing in real so we have seen four problems so we are dealing with this managing in real time because the customer is an important and involved in process the process is their experience many services happen in real time they cannot be del delayed or put off a passenger wanting to purchase a ticket for immediate travel may not be willing to return if the agent is busy streams of aircraft coming into the land cannot easily be put on the hold while equipment served or controlled take a break children screaming for attention in a danger hurting themselves in the nursery likewise can, cannot be ignored furthermore during a service encounter it is not possible to undo with what is done or said things said in the heart of the moment or promise made that cannot be kept unlike in manufacturing organization where it is possible to scrap defective products and remake it in service there is no undo or rewind button smashing a child in the nursery is executable and will not go unnoticed with webcam spies in the room managing resources managing the staff employees and creating the appropriate culture are the keys in managing real time services now we will see coordinating different parts of the organization the service operations manager is responsible for coordinating the various parts of the operations in delivery of the service this includes not only understanding the needs of the customer but also overseeing the logistics and supply chain to ensure that all materials and equipments are in the right place and right time and working closely with the other functions in the organization a nursery with out of the right staff and right material will not only provide a poor experience for the child but could also be potentially dangerous encouraging improvement and innovation a challenge faced by all the service operations managers is how continually to improve and develop their processes and their customers experiences ensure the outcomes as a real improvements and uh, what there is a culture that is supportive and service change the challenges for the some organization is how to create the world class service organization improving the operations is about talking what exists and developing it innovations on the other hand looks for what is not there that is what is new innovative therefore usually requires an element of risk financial risk because of the innovations require time and money and often 
personal risk as the champion for change puts their reputation on the line. Introducing the webcam to the nursery was an innovation that required some expenses and no doubt attracted some detractor. detractor. Uh, uh, whether it is a success only time will tell. A critical role for a service operations manager is to be alert and seek out new ideas but also to have the will and support to access them carefully and follow through if appropriate. Now in the next part we will learn what are the challenges for different type of services. So what type of services are there? B2B, B2C, G2C, internal services, non-profit services and so on. So we will see what are the challenges. Although much of the general theory and practices described here in this chap chapter or in this subject, all the operations, uh, each sector of the service economy, such as financial services, tourism, leisure, uh, charities, government, hospitals, business to business services and so on, has its own set of specific challenges. Managing a for-profit consultancy with a small number of high value client poses their different problems to managing an ad agency aid agency in a disaster struck heavily populated region of a development country now in this section we will describe or we will learn about uh, some of the different differences between the types of services and outline some of the particular challenges faced by each sector uh, now here in these services we will have some issues related aspect such as uh, the volume transactions okay the volume of transaction in a given time of period then hypermarket uh, has very different operating challenges from the local grocery store not least in simply managing the flow of the hundreds of the customers in the store the mode of the service industry, the retail sector provides a good example of this diversity and face-to-face -face service in traditional stores. Remote service through email order, then telephone shopping or web-based services. We deal with these processes differences in the next part. Here we explore some of the key differences in the service provisions uh, between the five sectors. The service economy that we can see in table like uh, in the first row uh, b2b services then business to customer services internal services public services that is government to customer services and non-profit services now what is the description and what are the examples given here it is important to remember that we use the term customer as an all embracing term what cover users uh, are consumers internal customers and so on so this is the first part type of service and uh, their challenges so here for b2b type of services services provided for businesses examples are maintenance consultancy training and catering b2c type of services services provided for individuals like shops hotels banks and food then internal services like service provided by the internal functions within the same organization that is finance, purchasing, IT and HR personal type of departments. Then uh, services provided by the central or government services like prisons, then hospitals, schools and so on. Non-profit services, services provided by non-government organizations that is NGOs or charities like uh, uh, hospices, then uh, counseling, faith organizations and aid agencies. Now in the same thing we will talk about uh, the, which are the customers and what are the key challenges. For B2B type of services the customers are uh, professionals who are not necessarily the end users. And what are the key challenges Provi providing high quality services to the business customers who frequently have high purchasing powers. Then for B2C type of services, the, the customers are 
individual customers here uh, providing cons consistent service to a wide variety of high volume customer customers that is the key challenge then for internal services internal services these customers are users uh, who have little or no choice of provider frequently funded by the central budget the key, key challenges are uh, demonstrating value for money against the possible external alternations g2c public services citizens who may have little day to day choice funded through taxation with the allocation of resources influenced by political processes the key challenges are balancing the various political pressures and providing and acceptable public services next is uh, for non profit services the customers are beneficiaries are uh, self selecting or chosen recip recipients funded through individual and organizational giving here the key challenges are dealing with their differences between the volunteers donors and the beneficiaries dealing with the emotional and sometimes overwhelming needs now we will talk about b2b b2c internal and public services in detail so first we will start with b2b services b2b services are provided by businesses for other businesses or organizations like ibm global services providing a range of service to its business customers including the computer installation and maintenance and range of management consulting services other b2b services includes the outsourced catering services buildings maintenance or leasing and supporting equipments financial services and market research some of the challenges for b2b services includes uh, dealing with the multiple contracts in the organization consultant may have to work with the wide range of employees in their client organization uh, so maintain relationship uh, at different levels in the organization also working with a complex set of relationship the users or recip recipients of the service will frequently uh, not be purchasers and this purchasing group may in turn be different from those customers or those commissions or specifies the service standards also b2b relationships uh, may last for a long time the challenges here is for relationship uh, not to be become too cozy with the customer and the supplier being taken for granted b2b services business to customer services uh, are those services that individual purchases for themselves or on behalf of another individuals they range uh, through the leisure services such as hotels restaurants sports provisions retail services such as shops supermarkets financial services such as banks and insurance providers through professional services such as lawyers and accountants the challenges faced by most of the b2c service include the organization may deal with many customers each day each has their own special needs and expectation of the service provided and to make matters more difficult these may change uh, for the same individual from day to day because the operation serves so many customers it faces a major challenge in keeping the experience fresh for the next new customer it may be the first and only time the customer experiences this service although the customer may be just one out of the 100 than the individual member of the staff sees in a day many business to customer service operations have the added complications of need of consistency access many points of contacts with the customers frequently spread nationally if not globally next we will talk about internal services 
most managers are involved in providing and receiving the internal service not just internal service such as personal finance purchasing and it support but also day to day service that provide to each other such as information and support indeed the internal service rule highlights the importance of internal service provisions the level of external uh, customer pro- service will never exceed the level of internal customer service the challenges uh, posed by internal service provision includes getting people within the organization to recognize in the service and important of the service and uh, also to uh, provide each other and treat it access it major it and improve it in just the same way as they deal with the external service demonstrating the internal services such as it and finance provide a uh, provide at least a good value for money as an external alternative there is a challenge faced by many it department for example who user often feel that they could obtain cheaper equipment more rapidly from the local computer store or through internet gaining the acceptance from the internal customers generally or centrally funded services are frequently viewed with suspicious uh, suspicion by the local operating units and may not receive the cooperation required to carry out their task effectively public services that is g2c services government to customers these services are provided by central and local government for the community at large funding comes through the various forms of business and individual taxation which is then largely allocated by the policy set by government examples include uh, the police prisoners hospitals and education specific uh, challenges for public sector services include the provision of best value services public services under continual scrutiny as a result aspect of service operations that might be taken for granted by the private sector colleagues must be carefully justified in their organizations multiple stakeholders public services suffer from having many customers with b2c services it is reasonably clear who are these customers are and if the group is satisfied generally speaking about the organization should be successful this is the not case in public sector where the recipient of the service as individual have little power to influence uh, politicians and the service manager themselves have uh, far more power to decide the current priorities no profit services charity is of various types of majority of the services most engage in a mixture of fundraising providing information about the cause and issues that uh, concern them and some form of local social action an organization such as oxfam oxfam o x f m oxfam must gather funds for feminine relief and then organization to supply and distribute aid as required challenges for the service uh, include managing a workforce of volunteers who are uh, tough who through uh, have having the highly motivated uh, may not allow follow the organizational processes managing the allocation of resources to ensure the maximum funds flow to the beneficiaries of the organizations while developing the effective processes and the people also dealing with the differences between the uh, activities that might influence and impress donors but uh, which might conflict the requirement of their customers and working in a highly emotional area uh, sometimes being overwhelmed by the demand of services now this is the uh, comparing airline operations so different services within a sector so comparing the airline services we are having the low cost airline also we are having the full service airline and on the various basis like business model network cabin services location volume and booking system 
uh, in the same sector different services can be compared just as uh, just as each particular sector has its own set of challenges there can be significant differences between the service operations within the sectors this may relate to the way organization has chosen to compete or which uh, customer segments they are to be serving now this particular table outlines some key uh, differences between the two business to customer organization operating in the same sector a low cost airline and a full service airline so for business model as consideration low cost airline is having the high volume and low cost uh, full service it is having global network profit made on the business travel as far as network is concerned low cost airline short haul uh, with no connections to the other carriers uh, full services airlines they are having the long haul uh, with connections with the global partner airlines cabin services so basic no food no frills for low cost and range of economy to first class that can be provided by full service airline locations are secondary and low cost airports for low cost airlines and primary airports uh, to allow interconnections for full service airlines as far as volume is concerned multiple flights per route for each day for low cost airlines and range from three flights per day or one flight per week uh, for less popular destinations then booking system for low cost airline direct through own website or uh, contact to the center and for uh, full center or full service airline booking system is usually through the intermediaries or through travel agents or through websites on the challenges of the service operations manager is to match the style of operations decisions and uh, processes people and technology to overall strategy of the organization to do this the operations manager must have a clear understanding of how the service operations or how the operations functions contributes to the overall success of the organization what are the challenges for different type of processes from an operational perspective we tend to be less concerned with the type of organization or the sector in which we are working and more concerned about the type of processes we are managing different processes provide us with the different benefits and also different challenges uh, the extremely flexible processes may be ex excellent for responding to a wide range of special customers requirement but may be quite costly to maintain on the other hand processes suited to deliver high volume low cost services are usually not very flexible a simple example can be drawn from the hotel industry to illustrate the differences we will take example like budget hotel and uh, five star hotel okay so a five star hotel uh, prides uh, hotel prides itself on providing a wide range of services for guest staff at the reception desk, uh, desk are prepared to times uh, time spent time and dealing with each other customers Uh, request and endeavors to answer the uh, every questions as a result each uh, transaction is quite lengthy and the hotel employees staff or extra staff to ensure the highest level of services are achieved at all times for the guest who are paying the premium cost on the other hand a budget hotel provides basic reasonably and comfortable accommodation for travelers uh, normally staying for one or two nights in this case reception processes are designed to carry out only basic uh, check in and payment activities uh, as quickly as possible guests are not encouraged to pay extra services and other uh, and other number of receptions is maintained at the minimum level uh, to keep the cost low operation process design is influenced by two character, character characteristics or parameters the volume of transaction to be performed per period per time and a variety of tasks to be carried out by a given set of people and processes
now we will discuss these in later chapters uh, now we will talk about the commodity and capability so there are four uh, four uh, concepts you can say four main type of service processes uh, these are commodity capability simplicity and complexity so commodity means high volume and low variety then uh, capability signifies low volume and high variety simplicity as the name suggests low volume and low variety and complexity indicates the high volume and high variety so simplicity low volume low variety easy complexity high volume high variety easy now what is commodity and capability capability means though the volume is low the variety is high that is capability and commodity volume is high but the variety is low so we will talk uh, we will just see this figure the four main types of services processes so whether the volume per unit is low or high and the process variety is low high low or high uh, we can have these four cor four corners for this particular rectangle capability simplicity complexity and commodity and as you see in this particular figure uh, low volume and low variety simplicity and uh, low volume and high variety capability then high volume and low variety commodity and high volume and high variety is complexity that is shown in this particular figure also for complexity to commodity increasing process deficient def definition and uh, the path from capability to complexity decreasing the unit cost so we will see now one by one we will start with the commodity commodity the budget hotel reception process is close to the commodity position where the volume is high and the variety is low uh, now as shown in this particular figure processes here are clearly defined leaving little room for the individual customer customization each customer services employees uh, employ these type of processes having benefits of consistency as well as economy other examples include many contact center process relative on uh, retail activities now we will see uh, capability at the under, uh, other end of the spectrum we find the capability processes processes uh, here have much less definition with each task potentially significantly different from the predecessor uh, the reception activity in the five star hotel is probably closer to this position rather than the commodity position in a budget hotel uh, the service uh, concept is likely to be far less uh, defined than the big mac and have a nice day service that goes with it now we will understand uh, this is that is simplicity and complexity then we will see the table simplicity these include small operations such as micro uh, breweries and small and specific consultancies uh, some larger organization may also develop simple operations uh, as the startup services which uh, then may grow in terms of volume and variety or both then complexity uh, at the first sight uh, the position might seem to be idle or improving maximum flexibility for many customers as possible in reality however providing flexibility for large number of customer is invariably expensive achieving by the employing large number of high skill people or high tech equipment on the uh, challenges uh, one of the challenges for the service operations manager is to ensure that the type of process is appropriate to deliver the service concept as service concept changes uh, and evolve the existing processes may become less appropriate for the task in hand effective ma managers will recognize this issue and proactively develop new process design to meet the uh, feature requirements 
now just look at this figure where we are comparing capability and commodity so examples for capability may be luxury hotels or manage, management gurus corporate lawyers uh, aviation insurance brokers here the process style is flexible processes allowing for wide range of experiences and outcomes also service offers our ability to diagnose the customer needs or uh, to develop a customized solution uh, and uh, what do they do well so they are better in flexible innovative responsive to individual customer needs and here for capability the major challenges are coordinating the response of individual employees then maintaining differentiated companies to justify premium prices managing the productivity and making best use of high skilled and knowledgeable individuals for commodity the examples are budget hotels uh, software package training provider house uh, conveyor Uh, garden shed uh, erector or uh, motor insurance provider the process style is relatively rigid processes focusing only on narrow range of experiences and outcomes the service offers are to ability to provide an economic and consistent service to meet the needs of the many customers how do they do well low cost with consistent quality and often rapid responses and the major challenges are delivering consist uh, consistently across multi Uh, sites at the same time with many providers then employ morale and ownership of the processes and the customers then managing the innovations and managing large number of staff and customers are the challenges for commodity now we will talk about uh, challenges in working with other management institutions this is the last part okay so the management of service operations as we hope is becoming clear is extremely depending demanding however operations managers cannot uh, do their job in isolation they require a close uh, working relationship with other functions such as uh, marketing to ensure what is sold and what is to be delivered and then to it department to ensure the equipment and software used by the operation is appropriate and available uh, when needed to hr to ensure the right people with the right skill are in place and so on however working closely with the other management functions poses some particular challenges indeed some of some of the organizations which internal challenges are uh, some of uh, the most uh, difficult that they face so these are uh, first is too much focus on day to day activities so we mentioned earlier that excitement of managing operations uh, is its uh, immediate immediacy dealing with the needs of the stream of customers managing the staff and making the many tactical decisions that are needed to ensure the delivery of the appropriate quality of a service at appropriate cost as a result operations manage managers tend to focus on day to day issues indeed that is what many of them are good at sorting out the day to day problems the perspective of different functions and other functions may be concerned with uh, more long term issues the board may be focused on strategic decision making it may be investigated new technological opportunities and hr trying to evaluate how many challenges in regulation with many other pensions the next is lack of a strategic influence that point number 2 because of the short term focuses on job operations tend to attract and recruit people who are good at being reactive and fire fighting problems as they arise as a result they tend to have the lack of strategic focus and naturally less good at dealing with the other level and more intuition process required for contributing to strategic decision making as a result operations manager influence in the board room is sometimes limited and therefore organizations understanding of the present and future capability of the operations is not always taken into account next is limited focus on innovation operation managers tend to be rooted at present dealing with the day to day issues they tend to be uh, reactionary and conservations 
though we prefer to we call it as the rooted in reality as a result operation managers are not always willing to open themselves to new ideas and opportunities any change usually they often unwelcome and significant operational consequences such tensions and uh, differing viewpoints however are ideal ingredients for innovation so operations manager need to be uh, better at managing the conservations with the other functions now difficulty in making the business case any changes tend to have uh, to be justified in financial terms operation managers usually know the cost of any change they want to make whether it's purchase of new equipment or recruitment of new staff and also intuitively understanding the uh, positive impact this will have on consumers staff and sales for example but the uh, these things can be very difficult to demonstrate in concrete enough terms to conceive or conceive uh, the financial director this is an important area uh, we will learn in the next chapters now we will talk about the summary what we have learned in this chapter what are the key strategic challenges faced by the service operations managers and these challenges are managing tactically and strategically managing operations a contributor to strategy as an implementer making the business case for service and understanding the service concept then what are the key tactical challenges faced by the service operations managers the key tactical challenges are understanding the customer perspective managing multiple customers managing the customer managing customer in real time coordinating different parts of the organization and encouraging improvement and innovation what are the challenges for different type of services there are five broad sectors of the service economy so the key challenges are for b2b providing high quality services to business customers who frequently have high purchasing power then for b2c providing consistent service to a wide variety and high volume of the customers then for internal customers demonstrating value for the money against the possible external alternatives for g2c that is for public services balancing the various political pressures and providing acceptable public services for ngos or non profit services dealing with the differences between the volunteers donors and beneficiaries then what are the uh, challenges for different type of processes there are four main type of service processes capability commodity simplicity and complexity a key challenge for service operation manager is to ensure that the type of process is appropriate to deliver the service concept challenges for working with the other management functions challenges are too much focus on day to day activities lack of strategic influence limited focus on innovation and difficulty of making the business case for reference you can use or you can read this book publication is pearson publication service operations managed by for improving the service delivery so with this uh, 